in addition to just physically exercising, we need to be able to actually build our muscles. Now, how does our body build our muscles from the time we're born all the way until our advanced ages? It uses stem cells. Now, these are not the stem cells you would get at the strip mall injected into your knee, you know, or your for your tennis elbow or your shoulder. These are stem cells we were born with. And a lot of people don't know this, but humans do regenerate. We were actually formed with stem cells when our mom's egg met our dad's sperm and we were just a ball of cells, all stem cells. And these stem cells that you will want from your jaw and our face and our ears and our livers and our hearts, we have a bunch left over when we're born, about 70 million leftover cells. They're packed away, kind of like on the shelves of Home Depot, you know, extra cans of paint. You can draw on them when you need to. And these stem cells actually will participate in building our muscle over time. So what are some of the foods that actually help us build, help our stem cells come out so they can help to regenerate things? Welcome back to the Better Health Channel. Today, we are talking all about stem cell regeneration. We'll explore in detail the possibility of regenerating body parts, and surprisingly, the key might reside on your dinner plate. Make sure you watch until the end, because Dr. Lee's third choice may surprise you. Guiding us through this captivating subject is Dr. William Lee, a globally recognized physician, researcher, and author who has been making significant strides in the medical field. You may recognize Dr. Lee from his bestsellers, Eat to Beat Disease and Eat to Beat Your Diet, but he transcends the role of a mere dietary expert. Today, we're exploring a realm that sounds straight out of science fiction, but is firmly rooted in cutting-edge scientific research. Here's where it gets truly intriguing. Dr. Lee's pioneering studies reveal that certain foods possess the potential to foster the regeneration of stem cells within your body. Stem cells, weren't those the controversial entities of the early 2000s? Yes, and yet we understand much more about them now. Stem cells exist within us all, continuing to function as versatile agents capable of transforming into various cell types, be it skin, muscle, or even organ tissue. They serve as our body's innate repair system, although their efficacy may wane with age or in response to health challenges. Oh, by the way, if you're enjoying this video so far, why not take a moment to like and subscribe? Hit that bell icon as well, so you'll never miss a video. Dr. Lee's research indicates that certain foods have the potential to enhance our body's capacity to regenerate these essential cells. It's akin to possessing a hidden code that instructs your body to replenish its own repair toolkit. When your stem cells are thriving, they can assist in rebuilding damaged tissues, bolstering immune defenses against diseases, and even slow down the aging process. So what are these superfoods that boost stem cell activity? That's precisely what we'll look at today, exploring Dr. Lee's research in depth. From nutrient-rich dark leafy greens to vibrant berries and unexpected delights like dark chocolate, we'll uncover the foods that could aid your body in rejuvenating and regenerating itself. This isn't just about cosmetic benefits or feeling more vibrant. Although those are certainly appealing, Dr. Lee's findings propose that by nourishing your stem cells, you may potentially combat serious illnesses such as cancer, accelerate recovery from injuries, and even enhance your body's fat-burning efficiency. Now, I understand some skepticism may arise. This might sound too good to be true. However, Dr. Lee isn't an internet health guru, but a respected scientist whose groundbreaking work is reshaping the medical community's understanding of nutrition. His research is backed by rigorous studies, much of which has been published in peer-reviewed journals. Are you ready to explore how your next meal could contribute to regenerating your body from within? Keep watching as we uncover Dr. William Lee's groundbreaking studies on stem cell renewal and the amazing foods that enable this process. Believe me, after this video, your perspective on salads will forever be transformed. Number one, seaweed and fatty fish. There's another fat that you should know about that's found associated with protein, that's in seafood, and that's omega-3 fatty acids. Omega-3s also help our stem cells regenerate. They prompt our body to stay renewed, which is important for aging. Where do you get omega-3s? Well, besides salmon and anchovies and mackerel and sardines, you hear about that a lot. It turns out many, many, many different kinds of seafoods and even seaweeds, actually edible seaweeds, actually have omega-3. So one of the things that I write about in my new book, Eat to Beat Your Diet, is leaning into that seafood section of the grocery store, which 
you know, some people already like seafood, but some people aren't familiar. And I want to take people's apprehension away to say dive in there because there's a lot of great stuff. That's a secret to longevity as well. It turns out in many of the blue zones and in many places where people live to a ripe old age, they eat reasonable amounts of seafood regularly. Fish such as salmon, mackerel, herring, tuna, sardines, anchovies, trout, halibut, swordfish, and yellowtail are rich sources of omega-3 fatty acids, notably DHA or docosahexaenoic acid. As we delve into Dr. Lee's array of powerhouse foods, let's uncover yet another fascinating aspect of brain health. Fatty fish like salmon, mackerel, and their aquatic companions possess a hidden gem for cognitive vitality, omega-3 fatty acids, particularly DHA. Dr. Lee underscores the crucial role of DHA in safeguarding and invigorating neural stem cells. These diminutive heroes reside within our brains, endowed with a remarkable capacity to regenerate into fresh brain cells. However, with age, the number and effectiveness of these stem cells decline, potentially impacting memory, focus, and overall cognitive function. Dr. Lee recommends fatty fish as a brain-boosting marvel, primarily due to DHA's ability to nourish neural stem cells. His research suggests that DHA supports these cells, enhancing their resilience, optimizing function, and possibly even promoting their proliferation. Including fatty fish in your diet offers a delectable way to invest in brain health over the years. Supporting neural stem cells, DHA may enhance cognitive function, improve memory, and boost learning capacity promoting lifelong brain health. Maintain balance by incorporating a variety of foods. While fatty fish is beneficial, ensure a well-rounded diet with fruits, vegetables, and whole grains alongside your seafood. Variety is crucial. Don't limit yourself to just salmon or mackerel. Explore a diverse array of fatty fish like sardines, herring, and tuna to reap the varied benefits of omega-3s. Both fresh and frozen fatty fish are excellent sources of DHA. Choose according to your preferences and budget. Dr. Lee's research on DHA and its impact on neural stem cells underscores the brain-boosting potential of fatty fish. By incorporating these flavorful options into your meals, you can support cognitive function and nurture a sharper mind for years to come. Mind mercury levels, especially for pregnant or breastfeeding women. Stay informed with the latest FDA recommendations regarding mercury in fish. Number 2. EVOO or Extra Virgin Olive Oil well, it turns out that extra virgin olive oil turns out to be really helpful for our stem cells. It protects our stem cells as we age. And not surprisingly, in the blue zones, those parts of the world where people live really to healthy, ripe old ages, over 100, for example, centenarians, they tend to eat olive oil, extra virgin olive oil, which, by the way, comes from a plant. It's a plant-based healthy fat. Let's begin with an intriguing discovery in stem cell tissue repair. The remarkable properties of extra virgin olive oil, often referred to as a golden elixir. This liquid gold contains potent compounds, known as oleocanthal and diloropine. Dr. Lee's research focuses on their connection with mesenchymal stem cells, or MSCs, which possess the unique capability to differentiate into various cell types, such as bone, cartilage, fat cells, critical for tissue repair, and regeneration throughout the body. Dr. Lee underscores the potential of extra virgin olive oil in promoting tissue health. Firstly, these compounds may shield existing MSCs from harm and potentially bolster their numbers. Moreover, oleocanthal and diloropine could stimulate MSC proliferation, encouraging these cells to replenish and enhance their presence. Furthermore, a robust population of protected MSCs can potentially fortify the body's natural repair mechanisms. This may translate to accelerated healing processes post-injury, better management of chronic conditions involving tissue degeneration, and potentially supporting bone health. Ultimately, incorporating extra virgin olive oil into your diet, whether drizzled over salads, used in cooking, or enjoyed with bread, presents a flavorful way to nurture your body's innate healing abilities. Quality is crucial for maximizing the benefits of oleocanthal and diloropine in extra virgin olive oil. Opt for bottles labeled as extra virgin and cold pressed to ensure potency. Variety in your diet is also essential. While extra virgin olive oil is rich in these beneficial compounds, a well-balanced diet incorporating fruits, vegetables, and whole grains is key for optimal health. Include a diverse range of foods alongside your healthy fats. Remember, moderation is important as extra virgin olive oil, despite its benefits, is still a source of fat. 
Use it judiciously as part of a well-rounded diet. Dr. Lee's research highlights the link between extra virgin olive oil and MSCs, revealing its potential to support tissue repair and regeneration. By integrating high-quality extra virgin olive oil into your meals, you can potentially enhance your body's natural healing abilities and promote overall well-being. Number three, dark chocolate and cacao. Now I'm going to throw one last kind of delight and surprise that can help your stem cells, which help to rebuild your brain and your heart and your muscles, actually is dark chocolate. Turns out chocolate's a candy, okay, it's a confection. But to make dark chocolate, you have high amounts, 70%, 80%, 90% cacao. Cacao is actually from the seed pod, the cacao plant, and that's a plant-based food. It turns out there's natural chemicals, bioactives in cacao made in dark chocolate at high concentrations that help our stem cells come out and rebuild our muscles, our circulation, many other parts that need to be renewed. And as we get older, one of the things we want to do is we want to continuously be renewed rather than broken down. These are some of the ways that we think about diet and longevity. Dr. Lee's research illuminates a specific compound found in dark chocolate. Epicatechin, a type of flavonoid known for its powerful antioxidant properties. Flavonoids, including epicatechin, offer various health benefits. In the realm of muscle health, epicatechin stands out as particularly promising. Dr. Lee's discovery regarding epicatechin and muscle health is groundbreaking for several reasons. Firstly, our bodies harbor muscle stem cells, vital for muscle repair and growth. As we age, these cells diminish in number and function contributing to reduced muscle mass, strength, and a slower metabolism. Secondly, Dr. Lee's research indicates that epicatechin, abundantly present in dark chocolate with 70% coca content and above, may bolster muscle stem cell numbers. This enhancement could potentially lead to improved strength and endurance. With more active muscle stem cells, muscles can regenerate and grow more effectively, boosting overall strength and endurance. Faster recovery after intense workouts, Increased muscle stem cells may accelerate the repair of micro tears and muscles, reducing recovery time between workouts. Dark chocolate's epicatechin content underscores its potential as a natural aid in muscle health and recovery, highlighting its role beyond just satisfying cravings. Supporting muscle health, epicatechin may indirectly contribute to a boost of metabolism, as muscle tissue is metabolically active and burns calories even at rest. While Dr. Lee's discovery regarding epicatechin and dark chocolate is promising, it's essential to remember that dark chocolate is just one component of overall muscle health. A balanced diet, regular exercise, and sufficient sleep remain crucial for optimal muscle function. Moderation is key when it comes to dark chocolate, despite its health benefits. It contains sugar and fat, so enjoy it in moderation. Ideally, a small square or two with a high cocoa content. Quality matters. Not all dark chocolate is the same. Choose varieties with at least 70% cocoa and minimal added sugar or milk solids. Dr. Lee's findings on epicatechin and dark chocolate add an intriguing dimension to the story of this delightful treat. While it's not a license to indulge endlessly, incorporating high quality dark chocolate in moderation alongside a healthy lifestyle can tastefully support muscle health and overall well-being. Dr. Lee advocates for a holistic approach, emphasizing a diverse diet that supports stem cell health from various perspectives. The goal is to cultivate an internal environment that protects, nourishes, and stimulates the body's natural regenerative capabilities. That's all for today. Consider watching other videos on Dr. Lee here. Also, if you enjoyed the video, please like it, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and share it with your friends and family. Thanks for watching.